today we have a special appearance in the shop today. Um, it's a bit of an antique, um, close to 100 years old. It's a 1929 Whippet. So this thing back in the day was a runner for whiskey and it could get up to 65 miles an hour. Um, you could either get in the four cylinder option or the six cylinder. Um, so this one's a six cylinder. Um, the owner told us he still is, can get it up to about 55 and it seems like it still wants to go for more. So still running good. It's um, one of 12 that are still running. Um, so we're gonna make sure we take extra precaution on it. We don't want any damage, nothing going wrong. Um, so we're gonna polish in very small sections and I'm gonna hand over to Alberto. He's gonna take you through kind of a little bit of what we're gonna do as far as polishing and the extra precaution, extra steps we're gonna take to make sure we don't damage anything. We're gonna start with the least aggressive pad and compound. Smart. It is black, so you wanna make sure you you get everything because it's more. And just remember, if you think it's metal and it's all, so we need one to, stage, right? One stage, of course. So we're gonna treat it gently. So small sections at a time, take your time, and when have you, fun with it. When you polish a one stage, what what's gonna happen to the pad? We normally with something like this, we try to keep the pad as clean as possible. So even if it's like small section, we're gonna go ahead and wash the pad. Make sure the pad is nice and clean so we can continue with the rest of it. So we don't wanna contaminate or pass dirt into the other section. Cause you will be pulling off paint that will go onto your pad. Yes. So your pad's gonna be the color of the car. So if you take that and you go and start polishing more of the car, it's, you're not gonna get as good of an effect, as good as results. So we, we blocked off our schedule. We got three days with this bad boy. So we're gonna make sure we Go as slow as possible and get as good results as we possibly can. Okay, we're, we're gonna do a test spot right now. I can show you what we're about to do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start going out a little bit of the metal. So I got some metallic cut. Um, yeah, we have a lot of microfiber, it's low GSM. That way I can get some good um, contact with it. I go for something a little more higher GSM. The polish is gonna be deeper in there. And as I'm going to polish, I'm not gonna really get good application. So. Yellow pad, not yellow pad, little rag, GSM, like 100, I think. 100, yeah. 100, some metallic cut. Try to get re remove some of these swirls on the on the chrome and polish it up for us, so. All right, so here we go. Well, after polishing, this is what we got in the pad. So that's why we need to be gentle and be careful with this thing. I'll always keep it on number two. You don't want to damage anything. So. Okay, this is the final result after polishing it. So you can see the differences. Uh, and again, we went with the yellow pad and speed number two. So we're not trying to get or go crazy on this thing because it's fragile or old. But if you kind of like point it this way, you can actually see the differences between those two. Here when we measured, measured this. 60s. Yeah, so I just read it. This piece is like a thousand. So look at this, you see this strip? Yeah. So this the... strip is like everything else, but it's, it's this, this piece right here. Okay. This, I don't think we can touch, but this, we're good. Can we hand polish that lightly? We, uh, yeah, but I wouldn't do more than that. Uh, huh? Do you want to dance with me? Uh, what? Do you want to dance with me? Uh, what? Do you want to dance with me? Sure. Want me to do that? Actually, you said yes. I mean, Biggest thing on this vehicle is going to be it is single stage paint. So 
Around 1980, pretty much all vehicles went over to two-stage paint or what we now nowadays as clear coat. So clear coat is gonna protect your uh, base coat, which is actually the color of your vehicle. Back in the day, they didn't have that. They just had uh, the base coat and they slapped it on pretty heavy. So you can see we were already able to transform this to this. So with single stage paint, you do have to be careful. You're gonna cut through it a lot quicker, but generally there is more to work with. So uh, what we've determined on this vehicle after a couple test passes is we're gonna do two rounds of polishing, both with a yellow foam finishing pad, one with a little bit more aggressive cut, and one that's gonna finish down really nicely. All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Today, Hello, lads. working on this nice old whippet here, we're going to go ahead and take some steam to it. So, the steam comes out at about 70 psi, okay? So, it's going to be nice to be able to blow in a lot of this dirt from this crap over here. So, right now, what we're looking at, can we get some light over here? For sure. Turn your neck over here. Yeah, yeah. Just a little bit. All right. Okay, so we're going to start up here where we can see. So right now what we're looking at is the inside of the wheel well. Um, this one, this side's been cleaned already. Um, it was a bit of a hassle, there was a bunch of grease. Every six months they took a grease gun and they filled up this system over here to help keep the joints and everything lubricated. Um, there's some rods in there, um, some bushings. So keeping these things lubricated was allowing this system right here to, to keep working. Um, so what worked for me was using a steamer and as well as the drill brush. So I use this right here. It's kind of like a makeshift tool. It works um, so we used that and a little bit of APC and steam and just kept going at it. Didn't want to use too much steam. Just keep it away from the bolts because I don't want to get water inside that system. Um, yeah, it took a little bit, a lot of brushing, a lot of steam. And yeah, it turned out pretty good. So you'll be able to see it in the final clip. This is the suspension. Um, this is what's holding on the suspension. I don't even know what you want to call it. Component, whatever, brace, blah, 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 doesn't matter. Uh, but this grease right here, it's like, yeah, it's been caked on here for who knows how long. So it's kind of getting a little bit of trouble, but it's coming off slowly.
back and prepped the paint, so we got some IPA. We got brand, brand stinking new red rag. Nothing on it, clean. We're trying not to get any scratches or anything on this perfect paint. Um, yeah, we're gonna go through, wipe it down. We have an air compressor, we have a steamer if we need, so make sure you get all these polish and white marks off. And what you can really, what separates us from the, from the others, you know? I like to say is we get into the extreme details so there's a lot of polish that's up in here in these cracks over here too it's hard to see you probably can't see with the camera but whenever you come up with your eye you'll really be able to see a lot of these white dots so if we need we'll come back with brushes but typically this process takes i mean roughly hour hour and a half because you think you're done but there's, there's still more left to clean so so it's good to come back double triple check and make sure you get every little crack crack corner yeah, um, it's kind of satisfying. It goes month on. finished up this 1929 Whippet. The, uh, the customer absolutely loved it. Um, he took some good videos. He uh, got a live video with our boss, so uh, can't do can't do with cruisers. So he's the uh, he's the owner of that club over there, or at least high up in there. He um, said some good things about us, and he shared the word. So if you want to do this thing? Um, check the Camp Louis Cruisers. They are going to be hosting some car shows. Um, go out there and you can see this thing for yourselves. You can also see some other badass rides. So. I I said that, but <laughs> yeah, um, this thing's absolutely beautiful. So, if you're within DFW, check it out for yourself.